Tuesday morning. Hudson's doing really good this morning. You excited to go to school today? No, okay. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to get started on mowing the lawn. Dominic has already headed out. That new table's coming today, and they're coming to repair a piece on Hudson's wheelchair. Hmm. That's about all that's happening today. Oh, also, Casey's working from home. All right, just finished mowing all of that, mowing the front, clipped some, uh, some little trees that were growing up along the fence that uh, needed to be gone, and took out all the old parts of the rose bushes that are out there. I have rose bushes, that's cool. So took those out and they're gonna grow, I hope, that they're already growing. Hudson's chilling out over here. The guy just called a little bit ago, said he's coming to fix her wheelchair, which is, uh, let's see if we can see this. So. This piece right here, if you see that crack that's in it, is her wheelchair fell over in the van and uh, actually broke part of the inside of the van and broke her foot pedal. So they're bringing us the piece to fix that. I did my best with the, with the little zip ties that I put on it to hold it tight. And Anyway, guy's going to be here in like 10 minutes or so. And then we'll get her shipped off on the bus and Dominic will be coming in. And sometime in this, I mean, it is, uh, I keep looking there for the clock and it's not there anymore. It is almost 11 and the uh, window of time for this new table that's coming is between 11 a.m. and 1 p.m. Should be a lot happening here in the next hour or so. <laughs> that's it, right? Yeah. Yeah. Everything else? Yeah, everything else is great. It looks pretty new, actually. Yeah, it is really new. Yeah, like we got it in January, <laughs> and then it fell over uh, in the van on the way home from the hospital. <laughs> okay, so yesterday when I was hanging the TV, there's this blue box in here with plug. I've it's it's apart right now. I got to put it back in there the correct way. But there was a little bit of HDMI sticking out of that box and it was going into the wall. I had no idea where it was coming out. I took every outlet off the wall in here. I searched everywhere. I've been in the attic trying to figure it out. No idea. Emailed the guy who used to live here and asked him, hey man, where does this come out so I can plug it into the TV? And he said, you know, when I lived there, that was one of the things that made me angry. It was a total mystery. No idea what, what that went to. He says, so good luck. <laughs> So I got up there again today and I thought, you know what, I'll just pull this HDMI cable out and use it because I knew it was pretty long. I just, it's not going to be in the wall because I didn't know where it came from. Anyway, so I start pulling and I get to basically the end of it and it is taped, wrapped around, just imagine tape wrapped around where my hand is wrapped around, not connected to each other and connected to this cord that just has nothing on the end of it. No idea why, no purpose whatsoever for that to be in there. There, there would be no connection between these. So one mystery solved, but another mystery <laughs> has started that will never be solved. I have no idea why there's a simply broken piece of, yeah. Anyway, but I do have this nice long braided cable of HDMI cable, which would be great because I can run it from the sound system up into the TV. Is that... Okay, so what? Like, what? That HDMI cable works. I have it plugged in. It is one cable running to the sound system. Now I got to move that sound system over here behind her chair, basically, just to kind of Get it out so I can get rid of this rat's nest of stuff over here. And then I got to get the speakers hung up in this room. And we are in business with this place. So, um, you know, Dominic's bus is supposed to get here around like 11.35 to 11.45 window of time. It is almost straight up noon and he's still not here. <sighs> that is annoying. Um, so while I was working on that, I turned off power so I wouldn't electrocute myself. And, uh, and then I went down into Casey's office and uh, noticed she was sitting in the dark. I said, why are you sitting in here in the dark? She says, well, you turned all the power off. <laughs> yeah, that would make sense. <laughs> 
But, uh, hey, does that lawn look good or what? I gotta talk this guy into killing off his dandelions so they don't infect my yard. And that guy, too. <laughs> ah, what a where this bus is, though. Ah. Okay, I just got off the phone calling the bus saying, Where is my son? And the bus shows up, so he's here. <laughs> hey, guys. Hi, buddy boy. Thanks, guys. Hey, guys. Hey. She's inside. And my mom. Oh, and my mom's going to stay here. She's hanging out till about 3 o'clock today. Why? Because she wanted to be home where you are, but she's working, so you can't bother her. Let's go inside. Yeah. All right, and Hudson's ready to go. Her uh, bus will probably be here any second now that uh, Dominic's bus finally got here. Apparently it was a substitute driver, so they were uh, not as confident with the route. So uh, everything's fine. But still, you'd think they would call on days like this when they're running that late. Okay, gotta get Hudson loaded up. Also, um, while waiting, Nebraska Furniture Mart said they will be here within the next 30 minutes with our new table that goes right here. I am so excited. All right, in the meantime, now that Hudson's on and we're waiting on the um, furniture guy to get here, and I'm making lunch for Casey because I don't get to make her lunch very often because she's not home very often during the week. I guess I make her lunch on the weekend. But anyway, um, there's one chair. They're bringing the chairs in here through the garage and then they're going to take the table in through the front door. Hi, everybody. <laughs> So great. No, it just looks like it. <laughs> Good lunch. Bye bye. Bye bye. See you later. Oh, was good. Yeah. Hey, finish your lunch or take a nap. Make your mind up. <laughs> As an adult, that's an easy choice. Well, I say nap. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Thanks a lot, guys. Appreciate it. Take care. Look at this beautiful table. Gorgeous. Okay, I gotta continue working on that project, get the uh, wires ran where they're supposed to be. Love it. All right, I don't know when, uh, what, when I stopped filming, but I have been super busy with this project. So got all of that rat's nest of cords gone and the table moved over here next to Hudson for now. Uh, Casey actually wants to put that table outside, so we're gonna find something else to put the surround sound system and Apple TV right there on or in or something um, in this area. Anyway, point is, for now it works, but I have all of the cords hidden up behind the curtain, and they go along the edge of the mantle, which camouflages them with the photographs and such, with the speakers there. And I was still able to wire into my outside speakers by running cable over there. So happy with that project that I got done today, along with mowing the grass and it, it, lots got done today. And Hudson had a great day at school. She's here. Domic is currently, um, for some reason, I, I don't know what, but he is... Uh, Circling my body. <laughs> uh, all right. Casey is, she has a presentation that runs pretty late tonight, so uh, he'll probably be in bed before she gets home. I tell you what, I got so much done, I am going to go take a shower because I stink after all this work, and I'm just going to sit around and watch TV tonight. So I think I'm going to just end the vlog here, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. I do have to sit down and edit some video, too. So...